Whoa, look at it go, man, look at it go, man, in $7,000. I wanted to say euros, because I'm from a euro country. I'm from Europe. Hi, all day traders. Welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to get yourself some Bitcoin cash. In August 2017, there was a hard fork, which means that they created a new kind of Bitcoin called Bitcoin Cash, and it's supposed to be a lot faster. There are more transactions in a block to mine. They did something on the mining difficulty, which means that when there are less miners, the miners get more rewarded, so they attract more miners. So what did they do with the hard fork? The hard fork means that they grabbed the entire blockchain that was already there and they copied it. So what happens was everything that was on blockchain.info from Bitcoin at 12 o'clock August 1st was copied to the Bitcoin Cash blockchain. So what does that mean? That means if you had a private key of a wallet, you can use that same private key to obtain your free Bitcoin Cash. But you need to have your private keys so you can enter the private keys in a wallet. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to obtain your private keys from, for instance, the Multibit HD wallet. So what are we going to do today? we're gonna get our private keys from the Bitcoin blockchain and we need to download Electron Cash that's a Bitcoin Cash wallet and we need to create a new wallet to eventually put the Bitcoin Cash that we obtain in the new wallet whenever I expose my private keys I always transfer my funds from that wallet to a new wallet with a new private key just to be safe we're here at the old Bitcoin HD wallet this wallet is no longer supported so there are no updates anymore it is smart to move your funds to a new wallet, a better wallet. For instance, I'm using the Jax wallet. It is a good wallet. It has different cryptocurrencies within the wallet. So you can store there your Bitcoin, your Litecoin, your Doggy coin. I am a fan of Doggy coin, obviously. It has been my favorite coin since day one. I remember the day when it came out, man. You could mine like 100,000 Doggy coins in 10 minutes or something. I'm gonna show you the Jax wallet as well. And Jax wallet is a cool wallet. You can even have the same wallet on your mobile phone. So you have two different different places with the same wallet. So you see, it is the same wallet. Here we have my Jax wallet and it's an interesting wallet as you can see. And here in wallets you can have all different kind of coins. I am personally invested in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Doggycoin. And as you can see here on the top of the screen we can change to different coins. That's an interesting thing, you might, might be interested in that. We first need to find, of course, our old Bitcoin HD wallet. It's not important that you have the Bitcoin wallet, it makes it easier. What we actually need is the mnemonic code. I don't know how to pronounce mnemonic code. It's the 12 word sentence and we're gonna use those words to obtain our private keys and we're gonna put the private keys in the Electron Cash wallet. First, find yourself the Electron Cash wallet. Electron Cash, yeah, that's the same wallet. Yeah, this is the wallet that I, I used. We have to download the Electron Cash. Download, so here you see in the top of the screen, electroncash.org. Where do we go from here? We're gonna check our payments. And within our payments, we see that there still was some money on the 1st of August. As you can see on the 2nd of August here, I sent some money, but that means that at the 1st of August 2017, there was some money on this wallet. So what are we gonna do? We can check the details of our last transaction to actually figure out our own wallet. So we see here that I've sent a little bit of Bitcoin to that address. This is the Bitcoin blockchain and these are apparently the wallets that I've used to send the amount of money to a new wallet. What we're gonna do now is check on the Bitcoin Cash blockchain if we can find some money on that blockchain that we want to have. We need to go to the blockchain of Bitcoin Cash. We can use Blockdozer and this is a Bitcoin Cash blockchain and here we can search for wallets. So we're gonna go back to this page here. We check that wallet, we copy it, Control C, and we search, Control V, enter. We're gonna check what happens. Ah, you see you guys? There is some BCC Bitcoin Cash, it's not much, but there is something on this address. Final balance. 0.0009 Bitcoin Cash. If you had at that time, for instance, 10 Bitcoin, you will see 10 Bitcoin Cash here. When they first started Bitcoin, everybody had an address. That address had your private key and your public key, and that's it. And you use the same address over and over again when you spend money and when you receive money. But with the Bitcoin Improver Proposal 32, the BIP32, they asked for a hierarchy in deterministic wallets. What does that mean? That means that the mnemonic code, the 12 words, 
those phrases they change into different private keys and different public keys and there is a hierarchy in this creation of keys from the 12 words so you have the parent keys and the parent keys are the first types of keys and within the parent keys you can create child keys and within the child keys you can create grandchild keys what does this mean this means that every wallet uses its own bip32 compliant i don't know if that's the right way to phrase it but you can see it here in the screen it says m slash zero h and we're going to use that later on in this tutorial what we need to do now is get our private keys from these 12 words we need to find website of Ian Coleman and that website looks like this the mnemonic code converter this website can convert your code so whenever you use this website and you have actually money on that account be sure to whenever you have used it to send your funds to a new wallet which you haven't compromised with for instance this website these are 12 words we need to fill it here I don't remember my 12 words I wrote them down in my book is mushroom human foil half power wedding mandate gloom lemon slush hedgehog and account we are using the bitcoin protocol as it said here it uses bip2 compliant with m0h so we need to use bip2 m0 slash zero and if you fill in this here it shows you addresses public keys private keys and we are searching for for one kg the first three things if we look in our wallet in our payments let's check this first transaction that i've used one e4 so somewhere in this list yeah here is one e4 you see one e4 that's this wallet and i've done a transaction this was two two and here i have 18 pp and as you see this 18 pp here we see it here at number five 1FL that's number 11 so you see we're making huge steps every time we were searching for control find 1kg okay there's the 1kg let me copy paste this let's get a notepad paste this I have used Ion Coleman I have compromised a wallet and that wallet is 20 euros still in the wallet this is a compromised wallet I've used this trick on this wallet as well. As you see, it isn't stolen. It is a safe website, I guess. I'm not quite sure, so always transfer your funds. I've left some in here just to be sure. You get the idea. There's no more money in this wallet, not much. What we have now, we have found our private key and we have copied it and wrote it down. And the private key, so that's the last one. This one isn't important. So it's all about that L4, LF. You open your wallet, your new electron cash wallet <laughs> you open your wallet you need to put on your password i use large passwords so you created a new wallet let's imagine these aren't there it's not about this transaction you have a new wallet you go to wallet private keys import the private key you enter your private keys that we have just got from the bip32 mnemonic website you put them here i think it's gonna work let's check it Oh, it's been added. You see, guys, we did it. We obtained the money from the Bitcoin Cash. It might be compromised. We don't know for sure. Let's just continue this to the last step. And what I do is I send it to Poloniex. That's the trading website that I use. Let me sign in and let me use the two-factor authenticator, Poloni Exchange. For here we are you can go to our deposit and withdrawals we can go to bitcoin cash here and we want to deposit some bitcoin cash important only send bitcoin cash to this deposit address i got it some websites call bitcoin cash bcc some websites call it bch but it is bitcoin cash so this is my new wallet i go here i send pay to that amount no description amount max send signing transaction payment sent history so it's on its way to our trading website where we can trade it for bitcoin i think that is what you guys want we did it we're the best we figured it out i taught you guys how to get your bitcoin cash from a multi-bit hd wallet we have full access to our bitcoin cash right now we can trade it in for some Bitcoin or you can do whatever you want. But the safest part is it is not on our compromised wallet anymore. It is safe now. Nice.
that wasn't a hard job. It wasn't as hard as brute forcing your wallet. If you want to know how to do that, be sure to check my other tutorials. If you want to know what a safe password is, you can check another tutorial that I made. I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. I hope you Bitcoin day traders get rich by this trick. And it's always important to get some knowledge about the Bitcoin blockchain idea because this is gonna be the future. If this tutorial helped you out, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I make these videos every once in a while. The more views I get, the more I enjoy making these videos. And I've seen that my last two videos are doing pretty fine compared to other videos I've made on YouTube. I think that you Bitcoin day traders really appreciate these videos so I keep on making them and I keep on sharing my knowledge about Bitcoin because I know you guys want to see more. Because you've been watching, you've been asking me questions. And if you want me to make a tutorial about something, you can drop the question as a comment down below and I might help you out as always thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time